Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing the next part in my Swatch My Collection series. It has been a while and the issue <laughs> isn't filming and swatching and all that good stuff. It's posting on my Instagram. I can't find time to post 10 random polishes on my Instagram page because I'm constantly posting other swatches and new releases and indies that need to be put out and all of that good stuff. So I don't want to take away from that just to share swatches of things that I can't stop myself from buying. So um, <laughs> I'm kind of putting these up as I have time, um, but I would like to be more consistent with it. I just don't want to take away from swatching things for brands that need to be swatched, if that makes any kind of sense. Uh, but I do, I do plan on doing them more regularly, so stick with me through that. Today we are focusing on indies. Yeah, there are 10 indies here. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. The first four are from the indie brand Dollish Polish. Um, so I don't get a ton from them, uh, but what I do have, I really, really love. And the first one is called Lilu Dallas Multipass, and this is a white curly base with orange, red, and yellow glitter of different sizes. This does take three coats to be completely opaque. It does dry textured. Um, it is a little bit difficult to remove, but good God, is it not beautiful. Like, this is so gorgeous. I love a nice curly polish, and this is no exception. This one's so easy to use. I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. It has a great formula. I really, really like this one. It might need two coats of top coat, but it's so worth it in the end. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Lilu. Dallas, multi-pass, and a glossy top coat. Up next from Dollish Polish, we have Frankenstein's Bride, and this is a fuchsia e purple polish with tiny um, micro glitter in silver, pink, purple, and blue, and then they have larger fleck flakies in here. Um, this one was okay. It's totally not my color. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I just. There are specific purples that I lean towards, and this is not it. Um, it had a good formula. It is opaque in three coats. You might be able to get it opaque in two coats. It is more of a jelly-like formula. It dries a little textured. It's a little bit difficult to remove. I mean, it's it's a glitter polish, but overall, it's beautiful. It's just not on me, if that makes any sense. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Frankenstein's Bride and a glossy top coat. Up next we have the Star of Dollish Polish in, you know, my tiny collection, and this is called The Mummy. This is a stormy gray Crelly, and it's got black micro glitter and I think like brown micro micro glitter. This is beautiful. It's completely opaque in two to three coats, easy to use, a nice formula. It does dry textured. It is difficult to remove because they are micro glitter. But I love Crellies. Like, that is easily one of my favorite finishes. Um, I really like Crellies with Flaky, but Crellies with Glitter definitely holds, like, a super special place in my heart. And this one is no exception. I really, really enjoy this one. So in my swatch photo, you are going to see three coats of The Mummy and a glossy top coat. The last stylish polish I have for you today is called Do You Want to Play a Game? And this is a black jelly base with red micro glitter, but it might be like little red micro flakies. I think there's both. I think there's flakies and glitter in here, um, and they are metallic. This is a jelly formula. It does need to be built up. It is completely opaque in two to three coats. It dries textured. It's a little difficult to remove. It's actually not nearly as bad as the rest of them. Um, that I have, but it is just a little bit of scrubbing on the user's part, so I did want to go ahead and throw that out there. It does have a nice formula though. Um, it dries fast. It dries decently glossy because it is jelly as opposed to crelly, uh, so it, it dries decently glossy, though you will want a top coat either way to kind of bring everything at the same level since it does dry a little bit textured. Overall though, really, really nice. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Do You Want to Play a Game and a glossy top coat. Okay, so the rest of the six that I have are from different brands, and the first one is my very first purchase from Whimsical Nail Polish, and this is in the shade Sugar High. This is a white curly base with kind of like see-through rainbow glitter, um, and there are two different sizes in here. There's regular size glitter and then micro glitter. 
Once again, I love a good Crelly. Um, I've been looking for color clubs for you, so I've been kind of buying everything that resembles that. Um, the only difference in this one and that one is that it's metallic glitter in that one, and these are kind of like see-through funfetti glitter. This has a good formula. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but it's not hard to work with, not hard to manage. It doesn't go on super thick and goopy on your nail. Um, it, it was really, really nice. It only took two coats to be completely opaque for me, though, so if you did a third coat, it might end up being just a little bit thick on your nail. But one touch that I really, really love, I do love their labels. I think they're so cute, but um, it does make swatch photos a little bit hard because you don't get to see the color. It doesn't bother me. What I love is the little bow on the cap. I can't bring myself to get rid of it. Every time I open the bottle, it slides right off, but I can't bring myself to take it off and, like, throw it away. I have to just put it back on there because I think it's so precious. Enough rambling. This was my first experience with this polish brand, so I really felt like I had to kind of just throw something out there that I thought about the brand. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Sugar High and a glossy top coat. Up next, we have Poisoned Apple from Spell Polish. This is also my first experience with Spell Polish. Um, this is a nice polish. It's completely opaque in two coats. It dries very textured and it is very difficult to remove. This is a micro glitter. It's a, I don't know if I've described it yet, it's a cherry red polish, actually it's more of a strawberry, it's not as deep as a cherry, it's like a strawberry red polish with um, like silver and gold micro glitter and either an iridescent or a red micro glitter and it also looks like it might have a little bit of black micro glitter. Um, this was nice though, it had a good formula, it was very easy to work with, it went on really really nicely and completely opaque in two coats. It was just extremely difficult to remove, I'm talking like pixie dust Zoya difficult to remove, like just a pain, but beautiful. So, so I did use a peel off base coat uh, for my swatch photos, the video I didn't and I was completely thrown off. But in my swatch photo you're going to see two coats of poisoned apple and a glossy top coat. I feel like I'm flying through this, like maybe I'm not talking enough about each polish, but I'm trying. But Next up is from Stashed Polish, and I have had a few experiences with this brand and they've all been fantastic, but this is in the shade 21 for the seventh time. This is a like flamingo pink holographic polish. This is so beautiful. It has a fantastic one to two coat formula. This one was used. Um, Bethany from Housewife Nails had swatched it and sent it in our first swap like a year ago now. So I'm just not getting around to using it. Um, but so I don't know if it's thickened over time, uh, but it was completely opaque in one coat for me. There were a couple nails that needed a little bit of spot treatment, but it didn't warrant a full second coat. But overall, this one is really, really nice. Great formula, a little bit on the thicker side, like I said, but very easy to use. So in my swatch photo, you are going to see one coat of 21 for the seventh time in a glossy top coat. Next up we have uh, Joy Lacquer, and this is in the shade Pixie Elixir. This says the Indie Shop March 2017. I did get this from the Indie Shop in Atlanta in March 2017. Um, but I'm not sure if it was an exclusive to the event or if you can get this online now. I haven't checked out Joy's site in quite a while. I really, really need to because everything that I try from her is fantastic. Um, and this is no exception. So this has a great formula, completely opaque in two coats. It dries fast, it dries glossy, it's so easy to use. This is one of those beginner-friendly formulas that just really applies itself. It stays right where you put it and it's just, it's fantastic. So. In my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Pixie Elixir in a glossy top coat. I <laughs> have not had to say this name yet. Um, so our next polish is from Pretty Serious, and this is in the shade Strig Forms. Strig Formies. I will leave it here. Uh, this is a super, 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 super deep green polish. This is so beautiful, right up my alley, just like everywhere. So this has a great formula. It's a little bit on the thinner side, but it doesn't it doesn't go into your cuticles like it doesn't run or pull or anything like that, but I did have to work in extremely thin coats for it to not do that. But even working in those extremely thin coats, this was completely opaque in two coats. It also dries extremely fast and very glossy. This was my second experience with Pretty Serious and Yet again, it's a really really good one. I did get quite a few polishes from them when they were having their like 
brand changing sale. Um, so they changed their logo and that was it and their bottles were marked down to a fantastic price. So I did grab a few of them uh, back in the day and this is only my second time using it. So I will get around to using the rest of them, but this one was great. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Strig Form Me, Strig Forms. I'm probably over enunciating, like it's probably like Strig Forms, I don't know. You're gonna see two coats and a glossy top coat. And the last polish I have for you today is from 90 Lacquer, and this is in the shade The Cult. This is a nice dusty gray polish with a strong fuchsia shimmer. This is beautiful. This is completely opaque, one to two coats. I am just doing one coat in my swatch photo. It's just depending on your application, you may end up needing two coats. This bottle is just a little bit older. This is so easy to use. This is another polish that is very beginner friendly. Um, it kind of stays right where you put it. It doesn't want to run, pull, stain, anything wacky like that. This one is just really, really nice. I highly recommend this. This is only my third experience with a 9-0 polish, and it's just across the board been great. I've really, really loved everything that's come from there so far. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see just one coat of the Cult and a glossy top coat. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite was from this week. Let me know what you want to see for next week. Um, I do have enough to do a full video um, if you're will if you're wanting to see a full video of just one brand. I have enough to fill a video for Essie, Zoya, Picture Polish, Painted Polish by Lexi. Uh, there might be a couple other ones, or I can do like a random plethora of you know polishes like like today. Um, or <laughs> I was thinking of doing either a drugstore, uh, 10 drugstore polishes, 10 high-end polishes, which the drugstore would be like uh, Sally Hansen, Sinful Colors. The high-end would be like Marc Jacobs, Louis Vuitton, Dior, um, Burberry. So whatever I've got in stock for those two. And then um, I was also thinking of doing a Lemmings List one because I have been marking polishes off my lemmings list consistently so I do have those set aside to do maybe a video on that but I can do a swatch my collection video on that if you're interested I mean I'm sure it might be nothing like amazing to you but there are a few things on there that were pretty hard to find so if you're interested let me know just let me know what you guys want to see <laughs> that was a long outro give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time bye